Well, ladies and gentle pigs, we are more than halfway through the group stages of the Hogs of War League 2022. We have seen plenty of turnarounds and moments that shocked the world. For some nations there are cups and tea and medals for the leading generals, for others they are putting on their war with war face, so to speak, as they are miffed by the latest results. This week has seen a lot of action that it's insane, and I'm sure much like me, you guys have seen it all. My name is Bobby, otherwise known as the Battlefield Commissioner Report, and I'm about to present the latest recap to you for week 4 of HAL 2022. Apologies on my end for a later recap video compared to usual, the matches are taking a little longer to come to our screens from the Theatre of Warfare. Nevertheless, take my hand and walk with me to the islands of Saustralasia. First on the agenda was ADB95 versus Pinstripe. These two titans were determined to show who's the boss of one another after their first feud two years ago. However, in the end, the game was won by ADB95 with the result ending 2-1 to the victor. Coming in the silver spot, we had Nicholas versus Jax. Jax certainly put up a good fight, but ultimately, Nicholas scoped his lay of the land and conquered it, winning 2-0. Next up was Jay Warren vs Machetino, and this battle was a hefty one, but in the end Machetino didn't let his fear of bridge the gap stop him, and won the game 2-0. Coming fourth in the piggy bank was Herpda vs Iron Fox. Both sides were pulling no punches and we had an insanely close round one. However, Iron Fox showed us why he's made of iron and won the game 2-0. Further down the line was Anguio vs Fab the Zen, and our two Italian stallions showed us what they were made of. However, in the end, Anguio took a 2-0 victory back home with him. And our final match this week was our banger for week 4. Our Austrian derby between JJ and Castor took place right from the theatre itself. We saw the unspeakable happen with the most powerful shrapnel grenade we have seen so far in this league, dealing 117 damage. Castor won the game 2-1 and by fair means or foul you gotta say it, they call him the current league champion for a good reason. And that seals week 4's fate. We have seen incredible plays, but surprisingly only 2 games this week made it to a best of 3, which proves that it's every pig for themselves in this league. Week 5 is approaching, and maybe by the time this video goes up, one or two matches will have been uploaded for the 5th week, but as always, we expect nothing short of porky perfection, and I'm sure everyone will deliver. So, what are the current standings now that week 4 was finished? Well, in Group A, Machetino currently holds the top spot, but much like every player in this league, Machetino is entitled to a break, and with Week 5, Machetino takes a rest from the battlefield to resharpen his knuckles. Meanwhile, in Group B, Angurio extends his lead, making his top spot harder to reach for the other players. So, tell me Bobby, who is playing who in the 5th week, and who seeks death or glory in the South Pacific? For Group A, Week 5's matches consist of Iron Fox vs ADB95, Herpda vs J Warren, and Pinstripe vs Revan. For Group B on the other hand, our week comprises of Castor vs Nicholas, JJ vs Angurio, and Jax vs Axby94. So, as always, everyone is prepared for war and ready to risk their lives to possess the swill. And I'm pretty sure, much like myself, you guys are looking forward to seeing the bacon get heated, reheated, and then some. If you want the latest on everything Hogs of War League related, go ahead and subscribe to the Hogs of War League YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well, that way you'll be notified of when the latest matches come fresh off of the grill. You can also check the current standings on our tournament page, the link is in the description as always. But that about wraps it up for me, so until next week folks, Take care, and this is Bobby, the Battlefield Commissioner Report, departing from the battlefield. Catch up with you all again in roughly a week.